Don't look at me. The one that Everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Nandika. Welcome, welcome, and welcome. I do thank you for stopping by. Now, if you are a subscriber, an oldie, thank you so much for your loyalty. I know, I know, I know. I am a terrible, terrible, terrible person. Because this is not often, I know. But we are working on it. I know it's been a while. Uh, we're working on it. We've got some footage. We just need to be more consistent. We basically, let me just put it straight. We need to edit. It's the editing. That's not what I'm here. Today's video is... Um, a haul okay so I have multiple hauls from different areas so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to be doing a little haul um, of different things that I have accumulated over the past couple of weeks basically so I was away so some of the stuff that I have here is from it's actually mostly from Canada mostly from Canada, so it's from Canada and the US. Not a lot of that, so let's just start off with that. Now in the US, I got, there was this little store, um, then I got this, oh my gosh, this stuff smells so nice. Bonds. This one is the um, Tongas Forest, if you can see this one. And then I got this one. Oh my god, it smells so yummy! I don't know if you can see this one. Also divine. I also did get the strawberry one, however, I couldn't wait, so I used it. And I also got this blueberry soap. I think you can focus. There you go. So I also got this blueberry soap to go along. It's called Wild Blueberry. Um, so while I was passing through at the airport, so I got these from the Duty Free. This is a Duty Free airport in Atlanta. I got, this was mainly for the plane. Don't want my nails. So this is the Avion Mist a Facial Spray. Literally just to help to hydrate your face because we all know that you get very dehydrated in the plane so this is quite nice i was keeping this in. this is the a body fragrance mist it's a victoria body fragrance mist and it's it's called the love wow guys my camera is not focusing anyway it's called love and it smells so gorgeous it smells very fresh i love fresh scents um, I wanted to know what the hype was about about this um, Chanel hand cream like let me be honest um, I think I bought a Chanel skincare product once and then I saw what they had um, at the back the ingredients or certain ingredients that I did not like and when I was looking at the ingredients that it has with some of the skincare, they actually removed that ingredient, which is very good for them because it was a terrible ingredient. I won't tell what it is because it's obviously um, they've removed it from their products. So, which is great for them. I like that for them. And the fact that they had it in the first place was actually shocking. But anyway, so I got the white one and I already tried it. I tried it guys I tried it and it's just the consistency it's not thick enough it's literally not thick enough for me because I've got very dry skin and this is the consistency that it has it's a very light so if you want something light that's great it absorbs which is great it absorbs instantly absorbs into the skin that's fantastic however my skin I tend to be very very dry so I need something that's more richer the best hand cream I've used was by Deborah Lipman. It's called Rich Girl. If you've got very dry skin, Rich Girl, get yourself Rich Girl by Deborah Lipman. If I find it, I'll try and insert a picture. 
if I find it, I will try. But yes, it's also very good for the body. Exman psoriasis. But I see now they actually have a rich girl body lotion. I cannot wait to try it. I looked for it in Sephora and I could not find it. They only had the nail polishes. But yes, Deborah Lipman, rich girl. But um, yes, so I finally tried it and I will continue to use it because it does smell nice. It is very light, however, but I will continue to use it because I paid for it, yes. Okay, so, and then I got some stuff from Zara. Do excuse the beta box, obviously, because I was traveling. This is just basic teas, that's all it is. Literally just a basic teas. Just loose, casual, a basic tea. Another one in black. This one is a little bit more fitting. So it's like a crop top. This one will actually go quite nice with even skirts or high-waisted pants. pants. And that's that. What else did I get in the US? I think that's all I got in the US. So the next one coming up is the stuff that I got from Canada. So this is all the stuff I got from Vancouver, Canada. Oh, we, oh, let's get to them. Okay, so I went to a place called um, David's Tea. It's right at the bottom here. This is called David's Tea. Mm. If you are a tea lover, like I am a tea lover, I love my teas. I am not a coffee drinker. I just love my teas. So let me show you first thing I got was this. Oh, yummy this this mm, mm, mm. it's cinnamon rooibos chai so it's spicy sweet and it's soothing your spicy it is cinnamon you can taste it and the rooibos you can taste it this is actually like leaves i've already drunk some because i could not wait this is what it comes in so this is basically, oh, I can smell the cinnamon and the rooibos. Mm. This tastes so good. I'm actually going to have some now since I am officially done a pull on it. And then I also got, and I've got two of the same teas. One's going to be for me and then the other one is going to be for my mom. This is hibiscus tea. Yeah, this is hibiscus, so this is a smaller one. It also comes in leaves. These are both leaves, and this is a bigger one. Okay, so let me open one so you can see what it comes in. I had bought um, two other flavors, which I drank them. Yes, I did. So this is basically what it is. It looks like inside. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. So this is the leaves. This is what it looks like. Oh, it smells so gorgeous. Their tea is absolutely matcha, matcha, matcha. So I got myself a blueberry matcha tea. First of all, ne? I tasted it. There is no need for that thing. There is no need, but somebody said I wasn't using it correctly, I wasn't drinking it correctly, so I decided I'm going to give it a try. So this is a matcha blueberry. The one I tried was matcha vanilla, and I do regret not getting the whole thing, you know, they have that little whisk, like a wooden whisk. So this is the powder, the matcha powder inside. do regret not getting that. Um, the leaves for the tea. I'm going to need something, right? So now this is a fancy sieve, a very fancy sieve. This is a box that it came in. How cute! Very fancy, very, very fancy. That's very fancy. So you basically just open it like this, and this is where you, uh -huh. so this is where you put your tea. Wait. Wait. I was also gifted this. This is a spoon. This is basically, um, you can measure 
the tea, the amount of tea that you need, the leaves, is equal to this spoon. You don't have to do any more than that. It is also David's tea. And then she gifted me this cute. Oh, I love it. Okay, so you ready? It's my unicorn, it's got glitter, it's sparkles. So basically what you do is, you're gonna put your tea in here and then you're just gonna make it. And because it's got the holes, so um, you're gonna have the tea actually coming through. How cute is that? It's like... And then what's I also got, I love, love, love. Thermask. I love my Thermask. Look at this. Look at this fancy Thermask. Was there a need for such a fancy Thermask? Probably not. But again, this was one um, of the things that I saw, which was so cool. So you just lift up this over here. It's got this opening. Look at this opening. So it gives you that little extended area for when you sip. Now, what I really like about it, it actually holds the heat as well very well, but what I really, really, really love about it is that even if you have your um, your leaves, your tea leaves, so what you basically do is you use your spoon and you put your leaves in here. Isn't that fancy? Get your hot water and you have your tea and your leaves and then you can just refill with hot water. I love this. And what she said was, um, do not put it in the um, dishwasher. So if you don't need this, if you just want hot water, or maybe you've made yourself some hot chocolate for some coffee, you can just take out the sieve and you can just have a regular fur mask. That's that. So, very cute. Next up, next up. So while I was walking to the mall, I passed through a little store. I think it's called... Decim Listen, in Vancouver they have a lot of French, so I don't know what it, it, it is, but that's the name of the store, I think. Yes, no, it's called the Abnormal Beauty Company, and it's the same. So I went in there. My apologies, my memory card got full. So where was I? Okay, so I got The Ordinary. I've been wanting to try The Ordinary products. Hey, boy. What happened to the cleanser? I was using the cleanser. This is the cleanser. This is what it comes in. Do you know what I really like? They're actually so cheap, their products. They really are cheap. So I'm going to try and find this cleanser. I don't know where I put it, but anyway, so this is the ordinary. This is a squalene cleanser. And then I got two serums. They gave me two serums. So basically what I said to them was that I wanted, because I do have pigmentation, you might not see it, but I do see it. I do have a bit of pigmentation, but also my skin is very, very dry. So I needed something for that. And then she gave me this Alpha Albutin 2% uh, plus HA serum. This is serum that I got. This is what it looks like in the package. Was this one the lactic acid which is a five percent lactic acid in this one so and the bottle looks exactly the same as the other one it's just the contents the color of the content inside contents inside is different and then i got a moisturizer this is a moisturizer and it's called natural moisturizing factors surface hydration formula Plus HA. So that's a moisturizer. And the cleanser comes in exactly the same colored tube. It's just smaller. So this is 100 ml for the moisturizer. And then the cleanser is a 50 ml, exactly the same um, packaging. So I think I got the receipt for these. Okay, so for the cleanser for the 50 ml, it was this is Canadian, um, 860. And then for the moisturizer, the 100 ml, 1150. For the lactic acid, 770. And then for the alpha butin, 2%, that's 1090. So that is for that. You name it, they have it. So I went and I got, so this is my most 
literally was just going there to look and then i discovered this brand naked it's called naked naked wardrobe it is naked wardrobe yeah. naked wardrobe i got this cute dresses now this okay, form fitting dress this is everything and it's got the cut out here However, the cutouts are very, very big. I think I'm just going to take it somebody to tailor it and make it smaller because it's really quite open. But I love it. I've got it in an extra small. It is so form-fitting. It is like hugging. It cinches everything in. It's just like Dwight, like a Dwight girl. So I've got an extra small in the white. In the black, same thing. That's the same dress, child. I got it in the small, so this is exactly the same dress. I was fitting the dress, fitted the black one. So in the black, again, that opening one, in the black, I got it. And then Sephora. Sephora is going to be the end of me. This is my Sephora bag. And then when I was finished paying, this lady says, oh, um, Congratulations, you are now a VIP member. I was like, hmm. <laughs> not something to be proud of because it just means that I love Sephora too much. I tried to avoid Sephora, but it just does not want me to. Anywho, let's get to it. So I went in there because I wanted something really for my face. My face is dry. I keep saying the same thing, dehydrated and dry and pigmented. So this guy who was helping me said, I must try these products. It's called Innisfree and it is a um, Korean brand. You can see. It's a starter pack. So it's a starter pack. It's a Korean brand. It's green tea hydration set. It has in it, I haven't used it, I haven't used it, I haven't used it, so. There's a cleansing foam, hydrating cleansing foam. And then there is a serum. Intensive hydrating serum with green tea seed. This is what, that's that. And then it has a moisturizer intensive hydrating cream with green tea and this is a moisturizer obviously this is just um, small size just to see if I actually like them um, the moisturizer is very nice it's, it's um, light but hydrating I tried it once I've not used it but I just tried it once I like that and then I got, I've always wanted to try these every time I go into a Sephora I see these and I always want to try them. So this is the um, Dr. Yart Krato Rubber with Moisturizing Hyaluronic Acid Mask. This is also a Korean brand. It's not a Korean brand, I believe. So this is a two-step mask. So the first step is this ampule and then the second one is this rubber. So this is the ampule. That's the ampule and it's got a thousand ppm of hyaluronic acid, which is really, really nice. Haven't tried it. If you can see at the back, it gives you the directions on how to use it. Can you see that? Yeah, it gives you the direction on how to use it. I'm looking forward to it. Look, I'm really looking forward to it. I've wanted to try it. They've got different ones as well. So I just tried the one for, for dry skin, the hyaluronic acid one. And then... Of course, I saw Fenty. So I was like, why not? Why not? Right. So I got myself the glass bomb. I had this one before and I ran out, but I think it's smaller now. They've made them smaller, which is not cool. But anyway, I love, 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 love the glass bomb. This is just um, the no. This is just the normal one. This is a Fenty Glow number one. And then I got Cheeks Out. I've always wanted to try their cream blushes. 
So I got the strawberry drip. You've seen what they they come in. Look at this. I tried a couple of them and I loved this one. So this is the one. Da -da -da. I'm trying to um, move away from using any powder on my skin because they can be very dehydrating. And then, okay, so this is the butter drop. This is the butter drop. Now, however, when I went in there, they did not have the the normal butter drop. This is just the refill. Yeah, this is the refill, but I was like, listen, I need it. So I got the refill size. So the difference obviously is um, it does not have the actual container. So once you get the container, this goes inside the container. So um, that's why it's it's a refill. Wanted to try it for such a long time. And then I saw this new thing that she came up with, this cookies and cream, the detox face mask. I saw on Instagram when she was using it and stuff it was like child and they had it so i was like let me try this is what it looks like inside how oh, cool can't wait to try it can't wait to try it. there's no smell and i think that's it yep that's the fancy and then i got the beauty blender the besties i thought this was so cute so this is like a little um set of the beauty blender it came in different colors this is what it, it looks like at the back so it came in different colors they had the green and i think they had i don't remember i think I've, i'll insert the video of what colors they have so this one is the black this is like the smaller one the miniature one and then it also comes with like the the solid charcoal for washing and then this is the the pad like the thingy cleaner for the beauty blender clean me i think this is such a cool idea that it actually has that's a set it is so cute i like that great for traveling purposes so get that okay so Another reason why I went there was so I can get a um, tinted moisturizer because I don't want to wear, I don't, like, I'm tired of wearing foundations and I don't wear makeup anyway, so I don't like foundations. I just find they're a little bit heavy on my skin. So I was just trying to find something that's going to be light, more sort of like a dewy kind of like feel to my skin. So I went in there to get a tinted moisturizer. So this lady was helping me. We tried a couple. And I set it for something that I really like. And I also wanted a blush as well. This was two different days, by the way. So this was the first time that I went. Um, so I also tried a blush as well, like a nice cream blush. Because like I said, I want to stay away from powders. So I liked this YSL one. That's called. It's called the YSL New. It's Bay Look Tint. And it is in the shade New 18. And New 18. That is the one that I like. And this is what it looks like. As soon as it decides to focus, we will be very happy. And then I got... For the uh, blusher, this is the brand that I got. I don't know how to pronounce it. S A I E. I don't want to butcher it. And it's called Dew Blush, and it is in the shade Chili. I did try a couple of shades in this brand as well, and I settled for this one. I loved it. Like, love the applicator as well. This is the applicator. Love, 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 love. So then I'm at the till and I'm like paying, checking out, right? And this girl says to me, 
oh um, we're having a YSL what did you call it marathon or something we have a promotion if you get two YSL products you get a YSL bag cosmetic bag I was like oh I've already got a YSL product I just need one more do I want to miss out on the cosmetic bag and then I was like show me the bag first and she showed me mm -mm. Very nice styler number four this is an eyeliner child it's an eyeliner so this is basically what it looks like it says eyeliner but we we know it is not just going to be for the eyes because we like things that you can use in multiple you know times we like we like multiple things and then before i show you the bag Obviously, they give you a lot of testers. So I got some testers. I got this. Oh, I am not even going to try and pronounce some of these things. Guys, forget. I'm not even going to try. And then I got the good jeans. Good jeans, lactic acid treatment. This one I'm looking forward to trying. I think it was Kyra that uses this brand on her hair, so I'm really looking forward to trying this. So it's got a super rising, a, a super moisture shampoo, which I really need uh, because I've got low porosity hair, and then it's got a super moisture conditioner, and then it's got a deep conditioning mask. Low porosity, yes, this is going to work very well. So then I got my YSL bag. <clears throat> Love it, like this this oh wait oh hold on oh let me see excuse me it's hard to see and it's shining glory wait child wait now i'm going to be using this as a bag just so you know just so you know because it is so cute oh come on I'm wiping it and I'm missing it. This, this, love the color and it's got YSL logo right there, chair. Love it. Patent, it is not leather, I know that for sure, but look how cute this is. Like, I can just, I can just, look, it even matches my black outfit, it just gives it a nice pop of color. So, and even the zip has YSL in it. Like they didn't skimp on anything. This is so gorgeous. Like it's got YSL Beauté at the end. And this is what it has inside. It's called the New Glow In Balm. New Glow In Balm. And then it has a couple of these Pure Shots Night Cream night reboost serum sorry and then it's got um the touche claire latine so it's like a long wear breathable coverage uh, medium coverage all day hydration it's like a tint moist tinted moisturizer i think yes foundation with the spf of 22. oh and it's in the shade almond now it's gonna suit me because well if it's the same because i used to use a um an almond color in um, what is this brand my foundation from hourglass the stick foundations hourglass the almond I used to use almond and then it also has a little cute miniature lipstick look at this color like look look at this color it matches the bank child it is so beautiful and red such a vibrant red and I don't know the name of the color and then I've got something that, you know what, I've never, um, I was never interested in this perfume. I don't know why. It's not something that I always went and I smelled. This is a black opium. So I was actually quite glad when I saw it in this because I was like, mm, how cute is that? And I like it. Like I never thought I would actually like the smell of black opium. I don't know why. I think it was just the packaging that put me off. I kind of like, I didn't quite like this packaging. So I never actually went in to try to smell it. And it actually smells quite nice. 
I'm happy girl. Like I love, absolutely love this. I'm going to be using it and using it and using it. All right, so that's it. I think that is all um, for my haul. So if you do like this video, please make sure you subscribe, have some comments, press the like button. That will really be grateful. And um, yeah, just help me reach a thousand finally so I can be monetized. I know I'm not monetized because I was not consistent. That is all my fault. However, we are going to change things. Yes, if it's to be, it is up to me. So thank you so much for watching. And until next time, Dini Tandon, Nibene.